Who doesn't love low poly graphics? They are amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create a low poly tree because low poly graphics are awesome um, and pretty adorable. So today we're gonna leave every single every single thing in the scene, which is almost never happens. Um, I'm gonna add in a Shift A or over here to create. I'm gonna add in a plane, and we're gonna scale that up just a little bit, just something like that, I guess. Um, and what we're gonna do. My camera's view, I'm going to set this up a bit better. I'm going to rotate on R and double tap X. Hit G to move my camera around a little bit. Something just to that effect right there. I'm going to move our cube up by hitting G, Z. I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to scale this up a little bit more than that. I'm going to move it around just a little bit. I'm going to cr try to create uh, like some bush type leaves. Um, so just move it around just a little bit. Try and get a feel for where you want all the all the leaf chunks to be that's pretty much what we're making right now we're just making leaf chunks um, leaf chunks uh, not leave chunks not like you're leaving um, <laughs> but uh, that's what we're doing right now so I'm just gonna move these around just to some random places I want to make one right here kind of intersect all of them together like that all right I think that looks pretty good so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate actually I'm gonna add in another cube this cube is going to be our tree trunk base. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that plane for now. I'm going to hit H on my keyboard to hide it. Scale this down a little bit. Scale on the uh, Z axis by hitting S, Z. Scale it up just a little bit like that maybe. Maybe a little bit. Not as much as that. Something like that. And in tab, we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. And we will uh, go over to tools and loop, cut, and slide. And we'll add one of these right there and we'll click. And we can scroll this around until we get about right there. Um, I'll go to face select mode down at the bottom and I'll extrude by hitting E on my keyboard. I'll extrude something about to right there. And this one on the opposite side, the same the same amount of distance, I suppose. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll add in a loop cut right here. And we'll scroll it to about, to about there. It's pretty good. Back, back to face select mode, we will hit E to extrude one more time. And we'll loop, cut, and slide this about right there. And we'll hit A to extrude again. <laughs> it's a lot of extruding and loop cutting, but that's all right. We'll do the same thing, E to extrude. And we'll drag that about right there. Um, and then one more time on this side, about right there. And on this side, same thing, about right there. And we'll go back to face select mode. We'll right click that one and we'll hold down shift and right click that one. And then we'll extrude up into the trees about right there all right so now we have that side all taken care of what I want to do now is I want to take care of this side we're gonna loop cut this half right there so about there extrude it's the same process and we'll screw that up until we get into the tree all right so now we have our pretty much our basis for our tree done um, we could add in another one for this this piece but I really don't want to do that since it's connected I think it looks good the way it is right there so what I'm gonna do is we're going to take a look at our camera um, I hit Z on my numpad and hit uh, lock camera to view in this right hand side panel. And I'm going to scale and zoom this around to about right there and uncheck lock camera to view. So it looks pretty good. Now we're going to play around with the colors here. I'm going to go to render viewport shading and change this to cycles render. Grab the tree trunk base and I'm going to uh, change this. I'm going to add a new material. I'm going to change that to like a brownish color. We'll darken it a bit something about right there and of course we'll change all of these colors to a green something similar to that I suppose maybe something like that yeah all right I want to make that brown a little less harsh as well so we'll go with something like that maybe a bit more red in there yeah and we will play around with our lamp so now we can change that to Sun instead of points we can rotate it on with RZ we can rotate it around a little bit Kind of want the sun to be coming in from this direction right there. I'm going to duplicate that sun lamp by hitting Shift D and then uh, left clicking. And we're going to rotate that another direction for an opposite angle. We're going to change that to hemisphere actually. We're going to rotate that maybe, maybe like that. We'll change it back to sun as well. Um, maybe something like, um, something like that so I get that little edge on the bottom of the tree right there. Um, maybe that, that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to add in, we're going to hit uh, Alt-H to unhide that plane finally. We'll scale it up a little bit. Um, maybe scale it down a little bit, actually. 
Let's go like that. And if we go to render, you should be able to see that our plane is now visible. Um, I'm going to change the color of our scene a little bit, brighten it up a little bit. And the color of our plane is going to be, I kind of want this to be like a, the color of our plane right there. The color of our plane, I kind of want it to be like a, a brown a little bit, kind of something like that. Um, since it's supposed to be outside and all woodsy and whatnot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And we're going to rotate this to the angle of the camera almost. And then we'll go into tab mode. We'll select this back edge with edge select mode. And hit E to extrude and Z to go straight on up. Um, and we'll add in a subdivision surface modifier. Duplicate that. Uh, bump that up to like 3. Turn the smooth shading on. And then with this edge right here, this back edge, we'll hit Control B to bevel this uh, this edge right here and, and soften that a little bit with this with this edge right here we'll add in a loop cut and pull that back so it's a bit more less oop, it's a bit less round the same thing on the top half right here so now uh, our camera sees that and now we have that nice um, the nice tan background um, the board we're gonna add in a border hit the border for the camera so it only renders in the border for rendered viewport shading mode and that looks like it's gonna be it I might change the color of our trunk a little bit to make it a bit darker yeah I think that looks good and the color of our plane I might change a little bit to like uh, more saturated brown something like that I think I like that a lot I like the way it looks it's very clean very low poly I um, hope you guys learned something new today I'll see you guys in the tutorial but until then bye